Hello everyone, Michael Jacobs. I just wanted to uh, comment quickly on shoulder rotation. Boy, I tell you what, talk about an interesting topic. Um, so, a couple things. Number one is to truly under understand the shoulder is a, it's a very complicated system of joints. So what I mean by that is there are three distinct joints in the shoulder. There's the glenohumeral joint, the classic one that everybody thinks of. Uh, there's also the acromioclavicular joint, which is more up towards the top. So if you look at this little image here, acromium, the high point of the shoulder, acros, right? That has a joint with the clavicle. So you have your AC joint, you got your glenohumeral joint, and then you have the actual sternoclavicular joint, which is the true only bony attachment in the journey of the arm. So if you follow the arm, the hand, all the way up the arm, up through, the only bony attachment is here. The rest are all muscular attachments, which, which I'll get to in a sec. I'm gonna keep this video brief. Um, my dog's barking in the background, sorry for that. But the, stern, uh, the sternoclavicular joint has a big factor into the range of motion of the shoulder. I could do uh, this motion here, which I'm seeing a lot of people do, and it requires circumduction of the, uh, the sternoclavicular joint. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is I'm gonna ask you to actually, you're gonna have obviously two, one on each side, is just grab the one on the right side of your sternum this little ball right here and take your arm and then go through the motion of a golf swing and feel the motion of that joint. So a lot of people are calling shoulder rotation a lot, um, they're talking about external rotation. Well, first of all, they're talking about external, ro external shoulder rotation and then they're going like this and they're actually rotating at the radial ulnar joint. So this motion is a completely different joint than the three joints of the shoulder. That, that's the point of the video is I'm watching people make videos and go like this and their main action here is at the radial ulna joint. Now sternoclavicular joint you can see is a big part of the ability to move uh, in this shoulder complex. If you just held your glenohumeral joint, so in the glenum here with the humerus, you just held that and you tried to make your uh, external internal rotation here you'll notice that as you go to do it you're going to be really adding a lot with the radial ulna joint down here and if you really just focus in on the sh holding that point and trying to rotate the shoulder you're going to feel that you're going to need to include the sternoclavicular joint so what I see in golf discussions is a lot of people talking radial ulnar joint external rotation and calling it shoulder external rotation, which it, it, it is not. And a lot of people are talking about shoulder external rotation when they're really talking about the sternoclavicular joint uh, circumducting and assisting uh, in this type of rotation here. So um, a lot of people describe a fourth joint in the shoulder uh, where the subscapularis, so if you look at the scapula here, we're looking at it from the front side towards the back. So this would all be encompassed by a muscle, subscapularis, attaches into the humerus. Um, so that subscapularis is up against the rib cage, it slides up against the rib cage. A lot of people call that a joint. It's not a joint, it's a muscular joint where there's um, motion there. A lot of people are stuck there and there isn't much motion, so you have uh, uh, different types of actions. But I, I just, if people have been asked me to comment and to run Alpha Man and show the shoulder joint actions, what you're going to see is when I do that, it's a combination of all these different areas of the shoulder sternoclavicular joint, acromioclavicular joint, glenohumeral joint, and the ability of, that, of those two muscles to slide against. Um, I'm sorry, the muscle of the um, subscapularis to slide up against the rib cage. But radial ulna joint, that's a totally different joint. So everybody who's out there demonstrating and putting club in their arms, they're doing the action elsewhere. So um, just a quick tutorial on that. Look forward to sharing more.